outside checking. Let's see what's going on so I can get out of here. All right, so I'm uh, getting ready to head out to uh, Minneapolis to shoot some uh, promo videos for the new company. Uh, see you soon. All right, bro, I'm checking in to the flight. Uh, it's about a three hour flight, so I'm gonna keep you all updated. It's gonna be fun. Let me take this down. All right, so I'm headed to Minneapolis. Just to let you know, I also have my helmet and my riding gloves with me. So I'm gonna keep it all a secret till leave. sitting in the airport waiting for some food let me uh let me bring you in bro we can chat it up you can drop in i'm using their wi-fi i should put this on the charge Yeah, drink it. You know what it was? I was never really like, when I drank, I wasn't really violent. I just got really funny and silly. So just to let you know, they put the gate on, uh, they sent a the text, the gate was on the other side. I had to run to the other side of the airport just to catch the flight. So they text out the wrong gate number. arrived in Minneapolis, Indianapolis. I keep saying Minneapolis, Indianapolis. Um, just getting out of the airport. I'm gonna get my shuttle and... Bread and solar parking, shuttles, buses, light rail, internal no, what's up, baby? Please stand clear of the doors. Yo, technology is crazy right now. I am watching, making a vlog, and going live on YouTube. This is wild. To the top. <sighs> so guys, I'm actually in the Mall of America. I am just walking around because I'm lost, but I've never seen anything this crazy.
right, everybody. Day two of my trip. I'm in Indy Lap. At... All right, everybody. Day two of my trip. I'm leaving Indianapolis, heading to Wisconsin. So follow me on this journey. I'm checking out this hotel. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and meet some more people for another meeting. Just taking in an early morning breakfast before I head out. All right, so I'm checking out of Indianapolis now and I'm heading to Wisconsin. So that's gonna be day two, day three, I'm not sure. Yo, I'm at the quick trip. I'm in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, still on the business trip. Uh, it's raining out here. It's nothing but fields, grass, farms. I'm in the middle of nowhere, but um, yeah, just follow me on this journey. By the end of the video, you're gonna see what this was all about. All right, everybody, I'm here at the factory right now, and check this out. Look at this warehouse. This is huge. So they got everything you need when they do. So this is so exciting to be with this company and being able to push their product line out. So I'm hoping that everything works out and you guys enjoy me on this journey. Just finished wrapping up the first day of shooting and I'm be staying out here in Wisconsin over in Rice Lake for day. 7.45 a.m. Still in Wisconsin second day of shooting so a little sneak peek in the studio you can check this out <coughs> inside studio filming yeah and everything ready for this the launch for this company it's gonna be great i'm glad y'all Yo, trip is over. That's a wrap. Uh, headed, I'm in New York now. So if you want to know what happened, you got to check that out right there. This is Keith from Show Chrome. Here to bring you some new accessories for your Can Am Riker. We all know keeping your passenger happy makes a big difference. Show Chrome designed the adjustable passenger pegs for the Can-Am Riker to do just that. The offsets are made of high strength cast aluminum. Each pair comes with the popular Commander mini boards in a satin black finish to match your Riker look. The four by four inch surface provides excellent support while allowing the passenger enough room to move their feet to stay comfortable on longer rides. The mini boards have high density rubber that provides vibration dampening to further increase comfort and minimize slipping. They are a simple installation with all mounting hardware included. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by. And remember, it's your ride only better with Show Chrome. I'm Keith, and I'll see you down the road.